Hello there! Welcome back to It Gets Lonely Here. Where the Gravedigger betrayed us and threw us into a coffin and is now burying us. I wish I was joking about that, but that is, that is literally what ha what is happening right now. As I'm somewhat fumbling through my words. <laughs> You persist this question to the Gravedigger as best you can, trying to keep the tremors from your voice as you do. Perhaps you think to your optimism that if you do not let her know how afraid you are, she will reward you for your bravery and let you go. If this is what you were hoping, so it is in vain. That's right. That's right. You really do catch on quick. So, it would appear she really has committed the task of sparing you. What an unfortunate turn of events. Why, though? Why she do such a thing? You thought that she was your friend. We are friends. The gravedigger said, the voice still worryingly offhand, worryingly empty. I'm very fond of you. There's nobody dearer to me than you. I've had a really good time with you. Those last, these last. Um, how long was it been again? I don't remember. Neither do you. Well, if this little detail has slipped both your minds, it can't be all that important. <laughs> You have other things to worry about. If you really are friends, you say, the grave, to the gravedigger, then why does she hope to gain by burying you? You do not understand. You don't. Oh wait, turn word. You do not understand. But you under you understand her reply even less. Well, uh, here's the thing, the gravedigger says in a reasonable sort of voice, as though burying someone alive could ever be thought as a, well, thought of as a reasonable act. I have been doing digging graves for, for a long time, see? You, you cannot see. You cannot see. Dark. But afraid, affirm that you do all that, all the same. Wow, I was digging all these graves, but I had nobody, but had anybody to put them in for, for ages. It's rather sad. You think you know where this train of logic Twisted though it is, might be going. So you do not interrupt her. You know no good will come of it. All you can do is persist, is a lie, there, there, and listen. I was thinking I'd never find another person to bury. This godforsaken village, not after the plague, messed everything up. But I was getting desperate. Until you came along, that is. Now that I've had, now I have something, somebody to bury, I'm not going to let this opportunity pass, bu pass me by. I'm sorry, but this is just part of my job. I'm, it's 
what my father taught me to do. It's all I know how to do. Fuck my game so loud. What the fuck, dude? Drop my phone a tiny bit. There we go. No, I'm not gonna be that loud, I hope. It's like what? Maybe point some decimal. I buried my mother, I buried my father, I buried all of my friends. Now I'm going to bury you. <laughs> it sounds lo it sounds logic and sense. As the daughter of a grave digger, digging graves is her job. What? Something about it ra rattles you. If you could part the fingers in it. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a bit of a f flew with her, a flaw with her reasoning. Is there not? You are not dead after all. You, you might not be dead now. The grave digger, the grave digger says in response to your injury, your integrity. But you will be if you, if given enough time. I mean, everyone else I've ever known died. <laughs> Who's to say you wouldn't be next? It seems rather more likely that you will die, and quickly if he. Persist with her poorly thought out plan to bury you. Your coffin is very large. It offers you a precious little space. Even eventually, if trapped within it for long enough, you will run out of oxygen and then you will suffocate. That or you will starve to death. If given enough time, <laughs> you might starve and then face the mighty power of oxygen deprivation. <laughs> but oxygen deprivation is obviously the big one. Either way, based on your demise, you demise will be slow. Pain will be a slow and painful one. You are unsure which death will, would be worse. So, given how precious your situation is, you do not wish to expend the necessary energy needed to ponder it. You need to plead the grave digger and quickly while she is still here. You tell her tearfully. That you will not leave her. Why would you? You will. You try to sound as convincing as you. Dis, discarded, your discarded nerves will allow. But the grave digger resumes unmoved. 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 <laughs> Trying to figure out which word that is. You say that. She says. You, but how can I know you're telling the truth? I thought you said that you were a traveler. They'll never stay put in one place for long. You'd get sick of me before long. Then you'd leave me. This way, at least I can be assured that we'll always stay together. Huh. You might not be wrong, but <laughs> if I bury you like I did with the others, we'll never be far apart. I even took care of, took care to put a nice spot close to my home, so you're only so you're only a stone's throw away. Right? Is this? Isn't that nice? <laughs> uh, this is the 
best time to start trying to dig out. This is just a freaking coffin. Provincially, you think that the grave digger has a different concept concept after uh, of the world. Uh, nice, nice view. You do not say this, however. You cannot say much of anything because the panic has begun to set in. And is choking you, stopping you, stopping up your throat so you can only cry. You scream, you beg and plead, but it does little good. The grave digger has already buried her mother. She has already buried her little brother. She has even buried her father. Whom she loved above all else. She thinks by buying you, burying you, she's doing unto she's do, doing unto to you to you as an act of great kindness. You think that she is a good going to kill you. Well. <laughs> And there's no one to stop her, really. In a sense, you are you are both right. Your opinions are so diametrically opposed on the ma this matter. However, that you will never be able to find any common ground. You might as well save your screams. She'll never listen to you. She is beyond listening. Well, yeah. What other options do you have? Slush, 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 dear one. Just shush, dear one. The grave digger uh, says the grave digger very gently, just as gently as she spoke to you last night. She comforted you, comforted, confided in you, in you, all her fears. It, it won't be so bad, really. Nothing will be able to hurt you down there. <laughs> You're not wrong, other than death. It'll be, you'll just be going to sleep for a really, really, really long time. You, you can rest, and while you rest, I'll tend to you. I'll put plant flowers on your grave. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's why I can, we can always be together. And I'll never be lonely again. While the grave diggers speak, she begins to I'll ever say even more soil onto the roof of the coffin. The sound of dirt on top of you, on your arms, your legs, and your head con conceals your complete uh, compl uh, complexion's final words. You cannot hear her. You cannot hear anything beyond the sounds of dirt and the scraping of shovels and your own dis desperate, frantic screams. Your scream and you and your scream without taste ceasing until your throat feels hoarse. But your efforts are in vain. You hammer the lid, the coffin, with much strength as you muster. But the lid of the coffin is nailed shut. Shit. You, you're, you are in no position to remove it. Shit. 
Mike died. <laughs> All you can do is lie there, screaming and crying. Begging your fists uh, on the roof of the coffin. Over and over as much dirt, as much more dirt and the debris falls on top of you. Eventually, the dirt falls into a stifled scream for good. The gravedigger can no longer hear you, and you can no longer hear her. You are all alone, trapped in a narrow wooden box, which regardless of what you want, now is your ho new home. You can smell the soil and the blocks of the natural which you inhale. It is so patient, that potent, that you can taste it on your tongue. You can taste the event eventual in inevitability decay of your own body. You will remain trapped here underground forever and ever. Or to, or to use less melancholic terms until the day, until the last day, the last of your energy escapes you and you succumb to your own slow suffocation. And I think from here is the best time to end the episode. So, I hope all you guys have a great, well, a time and a great day, too. Well, I question what the heck we're gonna do. So, I'll see you guys next time. Well, I question what the fuck's going on, what the fuck we're gonna do to get out of here.